This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Wednesday, January the 23rd, 2019. Today is the feast day of St. Mary Ann of Malachi, born Maria Anna Barbara Koop, later anglicized to Mary Ann Cope. She was a Franciscan sister in the late 1800s who did good work in upstate New York until she and six of her Franciscan sisters moved to Hawaii to work in the leper colony there. Unlike her more famous colleague, Damien of Molokai, Sister Marianne never contracted the disease. She was beatified in 2005 by Pope Benedict and then canonized by him in 2012, on the same day as St. Kateri Tekakwitha, the Lily of the Mohawks. Together they were number 10 and number 11 for canonized saints born in what is now the United States of America. She's buried in the Cathedral Basilica of Our Lady of Peace in Honolulu, Hawaii, if you happen to be dodging this cold, wet winter weather in North America 2019. And back in 1368, Xu Yongzhang became the Ming Dynasty in China. He was the man who finally defeated the Mongolian Khans and put native Chinese on the throne. His Ming Dynasty would last for 276 years, and it was the last imperial dynasty of the ancient Han Chinese. The Mings maintained a very strict social class and structure in which no one could move up or down no matter what. If your great-great-great-grandfather was a soldier, your grandkids would also be soldiers. Still, it was a good time to be rich and living in the Yangtze Valley. The Ming era was a renaissance of literature and painting and poetry and music and even opera. And most of the greatest ceramic and porcelain work ever to come from China came from this period in the mid-15th century. And of course, the Great Wall of today was upgraded and brought to its modern form by the Ming. Ultimately, the Ming Dynasty collapsed because the imperial bureaucracy just got too big and they created lazy and disinterested emperors. The combination of few natural disasters and the rise of the Manchu tribes brought an end to the Ming Dynasty in 1644. And in that moment, the last Han emperor left the throne for good. Finally today, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducted its first members at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City. The big names were Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, James Brown, who needs no introduction, Little Richard from New Orleans, Louisiana, who pioneered boogie-woogie blues, Fats Domino, the master of traditional piano-driven rhythm and blues, Ray Charles, who preferred to be called Brother Ray, Chuck Berry of Johnny B. Good fame, Sam Cooke, the king of soul, who told us what it sounded like on the chain game. The Everly Brothers, who blurred the lines between classic country and rock and roll. Buddy Holly, of course. And Jerry Lee Lewis, also from Louisiana. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit CatholicUnderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.